and as I think you get the point, there were a lot of people there recovering, some further along than others. But universally, these people that had been through this had astounding attitudes. And just the fact that people care makes a huge difference to them. I'll shut up except one message or concern I have. I don't think anybody does it intentionally. But there were people there literally talking about, well, how much will they get? How? You know, this country is involved, as we've all heard, in this great health care debate. Who is entitled to what? Who's entitled to how much? Who's going to pay for it? Those are tough questions. I don't have an answer to that. Not everybody can be entitled to everything simply because you were born here. It's not possible. It would be nice, but let's be realistic. There are tough questions. There's polarized groups down there. I don't know the answers. There's other questions that are tough. Should we be there? How do we get out? What do we need to do? There's very polarized answers to that question, too, and I don't have any answers to that. There are, those are political questions, economic questions, strategic questions. I don't have the answer, but let me give you a, a simple concern or maybe statement that it is an easy answer. I know what these kids deserve on the healthcare side. I was talking to one of them, and he was really liking this arm. It's way, way, way better than a plastic stick with a hook on it. But there's nobody in this room that would rather have that than the one you got. But I was saying to him, you know, the first airplane went 100 feet in 1903. The Wilbur and Orville, but you know what? It wouldn't have made an old pigeon jealous. But now we got eagles out there, F-15s, even that bald eagle. I've never seen an air, a bird flying around at Mach 2. I think eventually we'll make these things extraordinary. And I said to that kid, I'll stop when your buddies are envious of your lukewarm because of what it can do and how it does it and we will keep working and I'm not going to stop working until we do that and I think this country ought to continue its great debate whining and complaining I'm entitled you're a victim and whining and complaining about what our foreign policy ought to be but while we have the luxury of whining and complaining about who's paying for what and how much we get the people that are out there giving us that great privilege of whining and complaining, I know what they deserve. Everything humanly possible. And we ought to give it to them.